Hey, welcome to the Let's Back with Small Space Engineers. Now, I suppose continuing with the trend of only one other video before this, being the solar-related trend, well, the long story short is I decided to upscale, I suppose... Well, originally it was meant to be an upscale solar sail thing that I... Well, the solar leaf or whatever I... Yeah, the solar leaf, that was it. I cannot remember my own videos. It was meant to be an upscale one of those, and then it kind of turned into something else. Um, by something else, I'm actually standing on it right now, and, uh, well... I mean, we've we've had plenty of uh, in the past anyway, especially especially the past uh, of like heli carriers. Well, I've made a hover carrier, and I got to admit, this is a bit of a rustled up device. Um, I like I said, I kind of had to make it um, within. I made it within like an hour, I think. Um, but yeah, I suppose this would be. I suppose leaning on the more civilian side of things, if we ignore the um, the re decent amount of guns on it. But yeah, the idea is this would hover around um, on a planet of your uh, choosing. Um, I would say preferably habitable, considering there is no, you know, pressurization. Clearly, it's a very open design, and even the um, sort of like bridge up here, or like the, just not really a bridge, the freaking control seat, you know, all exposed to the air. So you kind of need to be in a habitable planet at least. But I mean, maybe you could use this for like. Um, Maybe I suppose if there was any such, any such thing as roleplay servers, maybe you could have this as like a trade, like a, a traveling trade post. People can come and go. I, I'm thinking actually quite a lot of uh, uh, take No Man's Sky for example, um, and you can have your freighter for example, or your capital ship or whatever you want to call it, uh, wherever you decide to put the ship, wherever you spawn it in. Um, passing NPCs will come and land in your ship, and you can obviously trade with them accordingly. Um, I suppose this could be a similar uh, sort of idea, you know. I'm assuming people's ships aren't too big, considering the size of the actual place where ships can fly in from, but yeah, they can sort of come in here, land, and people can converse amongst themselves and do trade, I guess. Although, speaking of which, and I... You have to excuse my ignorance on the subject, because I have not actually searched it up. I kind of wonder, are there even such thing? as roleplay servers in Engineers. It's, I don't know if this game's sort of that well suited um, to roleplay, I suppose. I mean, I suppose you could do it, but then again, and again, it's a bit like Minecraft trying to roleplay in Minecraft. It can be done, but the sheer matter of the fact is every, every, every person, every, you know, Minecraft player, if we're thinking of Minecraft, every engineer in the game has the ability themselves to essentially do anything they want. There is no sort of player-specific specialization which would which would uh, hand itself into a roleplay scenario, I suppose. So, like, if certain people certain people were basically really good at one thing and terrible at something else. So, one pe some people were good for mining, for example, or, or knew how to mine, and some people were more proficient at construction or something like that. I don't know. Like, you kind of get my point, anyway. But, yeah, like I said, if anyone knows if it's even been done uh, before in this game, do let me know. Now, i got to be honest with this um, with this ship. Um, you have to excuse the uh, shield bubble getting in my way here, but uh, there was actually a very uh, amusing bug, because obviously this thing uses hover engines, you can uh, sort of see them there, just sort of dotted around. Um, there was a bug uh, which was persistent, at least just up until the point I pressed the record button, typically, so I can't show you, but the hover engines could not actually um, get the ship to be at a stable height. It was literally, the ship was very slowly going down and up and up and down. Just, literally, it was bobbing very slowly, probably like a few meters up and down basically each time. It it was really weird. Like, I'd never seen that bug before and it just so happened to um, stop itself, at least when I pressed record. That's very typical. It's um, I think that's called Sod's Law, as the old saying, when, th when you want to show someone something and it doesn't want to cooperate or it doesn't do what it was doing before. Um, but anyway, yes, on top side, apart from being the, mo the main solar bank, uh, we have the... Um, some turrets on the top here. I mean, I suppose it is a little bit more militaristic, I suppose, with the shields and actually the amount of weapons. Like, there's uh, three missile turrets there, and we got three of the Aiden cannons on the side, so that's actually six in total, because there's you know, on both sides. So, but yeah, I mean, hey, like I said, c civilian transport, I guess, trade carrier outpost thing. I don't know. I have no idea what you want to call this, but, you know, I'm sure, as always, if I have a ship that has essentially no purpose other than it was just a random a random thought of mine, One, and I was thinking, well, I mean, technically as well, I'm trying to keep the quota of videos for engineers going, and this was something I kind of wrestled up. As I said, I just kind of threw it together within about an hour or so. Um, but, you know, the, surely it would it's, it's going to give some ideas to someone for a, a project of their own, which is usually what happens if it has no purpose that I can think of. Well, I'm pretty sure someone can 
see what I've done here and it'll be like, oh, hey, I could take this idea and use, you know, how I did something. I, I don't freaking know. Someone will find a use for it somewhere. Um, and speaking of which, let me just uh, reiterate one more time, and I have said this m many times in pe when people were actually commenting on my videos asking about this, and I suppose I should sort of publicly readdress the audience. Um, if I ever make some, well, the, the fact that I'm making all these things and none of them are on the workshop, now, I have to put my hand up and say that I have not actually tried recently, by recently within at least the last five months, but my uh, workshop has been broken for a long time. Basically, I every time I try to upload something, I essentially get an error without the thing actually uploading, and I could not actually fix it. Um, I don't know if the problem still persists today. I am an incredibly lazy person, and I have not actually tried. Like I said, within the last five plus months, um, maybe I should get off my ass and actually try it, but... Then again, I want to make sure, uh, at least if, I, if, if things are working again with the workshop, I'm only going to put things up that I actually sort of consider worthy of uploading, because I don't want to spam the workshop with useless bits of crap. Like something like this, I probably wouldn't upload this to the workshop, um, personally, because it was just a bit of a rustled thing together. Everything kind of needs... Everything's not really balanced in here, like, especially with the uh, power, because I mean creative, obviously. Um, just taking power, for uh, just an example here. I know I've got a big solar bank up here, uh, and the uh, the groove you can see here running down the middle that is just all batteries well it would have enough power um, to obviously fly and everything uh, obviously in creative but I somehow think that the solar panels will not be enough to essentially charge uh, this this ship and have enough power to last the night and carry on and stuff but you get the you get my point. Um, I probably could change it, of course. It's certainly not broken, but anyway, yes, I'm I'm just gonna shut up now because there's not much to say other than this. Well, this was just something I rustled up, and well, hey, someone out there, I'm sure, can take this and you know use it for inspiration of their own design for something or other. I don't know, but yes, anyway, uh, let me know, just let me know what you think about this round of thing down below in the comments. Link to my Discord is in the description as always, and you know the drill by now. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.